So we're here in the pits with Antron Brown, driver of the Matco Tools Top Fuel Dragster. So I've interviewed Stevie Jackson, the ProMod driver, before, but that doesn't really compare to Top Fuel level stuff. So what's it like driving a Top Fuel car? Man, Top Fuel is uh, it's pretty cool because the thing about this it is one of the only race vehicles that really don't stop accelerating until they go one to one. We accelerate as hard as we can, all the way to about 600 feet. And it's like one of those rides that you can't explain because it just keeps going. We pull six G's right there at that 550 foot mark where the clutch goes one to one. So it's one of those thrill rides that never gets old. So uh, this we just ended qualifying, and you're uh, you're fourth. Yes, we're number four. So who are you taking on? Uh, we actually take on one of my old nemesis. Uh, we take on Tony Schumacher. Tony first Schumacher. Oh. The eight time. Oh. The Sarge in charge. But uh, we always have good races, and uh, we're looking forward to tomorrow. And uh, our car, I feel right now, our Maco Tools, Lucas Oil, Toyota, Hanks for Series X and Dragster has definitely taken a big turn. And uh, our performance level is definitely getting back to where we want to be. And uh, our main focus is that we qualify in the top five here. And uh, next week going into, uh, when we go to Norwalk, our goal is going to be to qualify in the top three. It's going to be the game plan. That's what we're going to try to do. And uh, I know I know we have the car and we have the people and we have the team to do it. It just feels good that we're, we're back on that path to get back to where we need to be. And another thing I've heard funny car drivers talk about, not really top fuel dragster guys, but I've heard Ron Caps and a couple other guys talk about a bump out there where the tunnel is here at Bristol, does that really affect the top fuel cars? Or? Yeah, it affects every class. And, uh, you know, they, the track did a really, they, they've been working hard in, in the NHRA and they came back here. I think they got the track about 40% better, but they still have a long way to go to make it right. And uh, it's something that we could tolerate right now. But the thing about it is, that's why you've seen a lot of bikes, a lot of cars, and our cars where you've seen them bouncing up and spinning the tire. It's because it's due to the at the bumpiness of the racetrack. So our main focus is to keep on working with the track the way we do and, and with an HRA and that we all can make it better together. If we can get the track surface better, we can definitely put on a better show for the fans. And, uh, and that's what we come to do. But you know what? The track is way better than what it used to be. So it should make up for some good racing for tomorrow. Well, that's all we can hope for. It's getting better. Thanks, Antron. And, uh, anytime. Anytime. We'll do this again sometime. Absolutely.